and we're going to do a little uh, presentation here on wave, sound, and light. All right. So I've tried to get for all ages some of the explanation. Um, the older folks will get it, and um, uh, all the demonstrations I hope will be uh, something that will help you understand more about wave, sound, and light. The very first question we have is, what is a wave? You know what a wave is? Um, Anybody? What? Um, Ooh, that's good. Sound waves are a great example of a wave. Water wave, you ever been to the beach? Mm -hmm. There'd be no fun with that waves, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, in the ocean, light waves, there's all kinds of waves. A lot of people can tell us what a wave is, uh, examples of waves, but what a wave is, most people really don't know what a wave is. All right, it's all about energy. It all gets back to energy, okay? I'm gonna throw this to you, okay? Will you catch it? It's fine, you won't hurt you. All right, now it's really lightweight, but did you feel anything when it hit your hand? Yeah, if I'd have thrown you a softball, you'd have felt more, wouldn't you? And if I'd have thrown you a bowling ball, you'd have let it hit him, right? Okay, a lot of energy there. That's one way energy gets from one place to another. You have to have an object, you push on it, and it carries the energy like a mailman. But not all energy goes that way. Some energy just doesn't attach itself to anything, it just goes through whatever's between me and you. Is everybody hearing my voice? All right, well, sound energy, a sound wave, that energy just goes through the air. And as it goes through the air, it moves the air back and forth. And it's that movement, it's that disturbance, that pattern of disturbance that actually is a wave, okay? Every wave, whether it's a light wave, whether it's a sound wave or an ocean wave, no matter what kind of wave it is, all waves are created, they're made by something vibrating back and forth. My vocal cords are going back and forth. You can't see those. This is a tuning fork. It makes a sound. Everybody hear that? Okay? That tuning fork is going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. In fact, it's going back and forth 256 times every second. Can you see it go back and forth? No. You know why? Because you got human eyes. Human eyes, uh, humans, we, we see something for a very long period of time. We hold on to that image. But, touch it. Is it vibrating? Can you feel it? All right. Yeah, it's hitting against your hand 256 times every second. We call that a frequency. Here we go. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, us old people, we that, that's what we do. That's how we used to listen to music. I listen okay? to one or two. Yes, and they're a little scratchy, but uh, this has this has a groove cut in, it, okay. And so when the people are in the studio, and they, they used to say cutting a record, and what that they would they would sing in the microphone, the instruments with all those sound waves hitting the microphone go together to make one sound wave. One sound wave. Well, it's kind of funny. And so when, it, when they cut the record, the needle that was cutting the groove actually cut that sound wave, that pattern, into the wall. So if you, if you could look at this under a really high power microscope, instead of a smooth wall, you would see it kind of sculptured. And that, that's the sound wave, all right? So if you can get that back, you, you recreate the sound. Now, I'm going to get it spinning. But I'm not going to put a needle. I'm not going to put a needle to it. This is just a piece of construction paper that I curled up into um, uh, a cone. Now, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I am on Medicare. So, back when I was your age, there was a gentleman on TV on Saturday morning named Mr. Wizard. It was on CBS, black and white. And I watched him every Saturday morning because we didn't have science museums back then. And this was some, This is one that he did that kind of got me started on something. This is a sewing needle just a, a, from your mom's sewing box, okay? And so I stuck it into the paper, and so I'm going to let it ride in the groove. And as it rides in the groove, it won't ride smooth. It'll, it'll vibrate because it's going along with the wall. And as it vibrates, it's going to make the paper vibrate. And if the paper vibrates, that's going to push the air, and the air is going to vibrate. That's going to be your sound. It's not real loud. Okay. All right. And then it skips a little bit. I'm just going to put it down somewhere in the middle, and you should be able to hear it. Okay? I don't believe it. 
Don't believe it. Most of your parents can hear that. Your grandparents can hear that. Okay? As we get older, our eardrum gets less flexible. So instead of hearing 20,000 or 18,000, like I'm down to about 12,000. I'm really normal. That ringtone is about 12,500. So if you've got a teacher that's young, she can hear that. Don't try it. Okay? Most of the parents in here can hear, can hear that. All right? So that's the way that works. And by the way, talking about hearing, we measure how loud it is, not what frequency, but just how loud it is, in something called DV, and, and that deals with the energy that's in it. Well, if I get this, put a little energy in, I get a little bit of energy out. If I put a lot of energy in, Anybody? It gets short. Now, 
I'm human, and humans can't keep their hand going at a steady pace much more than about twice a second. But I've got a machine that can do that. Thank you. Thank you for doing it. Well, you're going to see this one even better, then, okay? This is this is this little device here is nothing more than a speaker turned up this way with a little device that you put a uh, string to, and so I can make it go up and down of whatever I want. And it turns out that. If I shake it up and down on this end, uh, nine times per second, so it's got a frequency of nine, I have, that's one way, all right? Now, it looks like there's two sections, but when this half is up, where do you think that half is? Down. down. When this goes down, what do you think that half does? Up. Yeah, so you always got one hump and one bump, so I've got a frequency of nine, and, and that, that's my wavelength there, and that is about 10 feet long. So what's going to happen if I shake this up and down faster? What's going to happen to, to that length right there? It'll go faster. Well, this is going to go faster, right. But is it going to stay the same length, or is it going to get longer or shorter? What do you think? Oh, yeah. I go to the opposite, shorter. Right, watch. Now, I'm, I'm going to go to 18. Now, remember, I've got two pieces there, two sections. That's one way. I'm going to go to 18. What's oh, yeah. four? One, two, three, four. So, one, two, I'm only halfway across. So this is just like we were doing, okay? I can go up even, I can go up even more. I'm going to go up to 36. Every time I, I make, I shake it up and down twice as much, it gets half as long, okay? So now I'm only there to there. Let me, let me double it again. Okay, I should get two right from there to there if I double it again. Okay, this, you notice it gets smaller and smaller every time this way. So if I double it again, it would it would cut in half, but you couldn't see it. It'd be so tiny. Okay, but I do want to do one thing that's kind of special. I'm going to go back to. I'm going to go back to shaking it up and down 27 times a second. Nice. Let me get it just right. All right, 27 times a second. What that means is every piece of that string is going up and down 27 times every second. Okay? If we could turn the lights in this room on and off exactly 27 times a second, the coolest thing would happen. Well... This piece would be here, this would be here, this would be here, that would be here. And then the light would go off, and each piece would go down and come right back where it was when the light came back on. And then it would go back off again. So in other words, it would look like it's frozen to you, because you're only seeing it that one spot. Now, we can't turn these lights on and off 27 times every second, but I have a strobe light, okay? Now, I'm going to sound the strobe light this way. If anybody has a problem with a strobe light, can you just... Just close your eyes for a minute or turn the other way, but I'm not going to point it out this way, okay? But I'm going to ask you to turn those lights off. Now, a strobe light is a light that I can make it go on and off out of far. I'm just going to turn it on at any old rate, and then I'm going to keep changing it, and you'll know when I get to change it. <laughs> All right, everybody see the screen? All right, I'm going to keep changing it.
Guess what happens when electrons go through a gas? You ever seen lightning? That's what's happening. So we're going to kind of create lightning here, okay? So what I want you to do, I want you to hold this light to that. Two hands, both hands, okay? All right? And just put them right here so everybody can see. All right, so I'm going to put them down like that. Now instead of putting it in a lamp, This gives me a lot of push, all right? More than that light switch will. Let me just make sure it works. Oh, yeah. That's a whole lot of push, okay? All right. For you parents, you know, you got 120 volts at home. This is like 16 pounds, okay? No problem, though. <laughs> <laughs> Nine out of ten students never feel a thing. You're the first one. Your odds are really good. Okay? All right. So you just hold on. All right? And move your hands back a little bit so people can see more. There you go. Because what's going to happen, those electrons are going to leave the wire, go through the gas to your hands. But when it goes through that gas, that gas gives off purple light. So just little streaks of purple light to each of your fingers. Okay? Ooh. Everybody see that? Yeah, now if you move one of your fingers around on the bulb, it'll follow your finger. Just move one of your fingers around it. Yeah, it follows your finger. Okay? And that's all this. We're, we're treating that bulb into making light that it's not supposed to make. All right? But we had to push the electrons off and off. Okay? All right? Most men can hold on to that, and most women can't. 
and it's just body chemistry. Uh, a, a woman's body chemistry is a little more charged, and it just gives that a pretty good uh, uh, That's how one gets it. Okay, we've got one last one, and I kind of saved the best one for last, but here's what i got to do. I've got to clear out a path here. See those three little things right there? I'm going to move a table right there, so if you do it one side or the other, you're okay, but right in there. Okay, can you just move over there? We actually have someone that is going to take you if you can slow down just a little bit so she can shoot you. Okay. <laughs> well, well, I kind of shoot you. <laughs> With a camera, though. With a camera. <laughs> I've made them out of uh, green bean, can big can of green beans. I took the green beans out, and uh, it's got to be open on both ends, all right? And on one end, I just took good old saran wrap, glad wrap, some kind of, you know, clear kitchen wrap, and stretched it really tight. It needed to be really, really tight. Uh, and that's all it is. And then there's a little piece of mirror. Uh, I took a piece of broken mirror. I took a I took a, a little mirror and I put it in a towel and I hit it with a hammer and I picked out a piece that was just right and I super glued it right on somewhere around the middle. That's all it is. It's just the simplest little thing that ever was, okay? And I've got it sitting in a piece of sponge rubber so that the vibrations in the room won't bother as much. And on the back side, it's open. So, because what we're going to do is we're going to put sound waves through there, okay? Now, let's think about what we've, what we've learned today about sound waves. Sound waves, something's vibrating like the tuning fork, am I right? Yeah. Or the speaker. And when it vibrates like this, then as the energy goes through the room, the air vibrates like that. So, I've got a speaker here, we're going to play some music through it. And so, the sound, the, the, the waves are going to go through here, and it's going to make the air do that. And then when it finally reaches the, uh, the food wrap, it's going to make the food wrap do that with exactly the same frequency as the speaker, as the music. So, now, it's got a mirror on there, right? Okay, so, I've got a little laser pointer right here, got a little laser pointer, and I want to point it at the mirror and bounce it off the mirror onto the wall, okay? So that's what we're going to be looking at, is the wall, and that's all there is to it. And so, depending on what kind of music you play through it, that's what, and I picked out a piece of music that'll give you some good patterns, all right? When you hit, when you hit the right uh, number of vibrations every second, you get a pattern. And if, if you get a different number of vibrations, but it's a multiple of that, you get a different pattern. And so this gives us